It's a major problem in the art world, forgeries and fakes. Now a new exhibit at the Ringling Museum is bringing the public closer to the crimes and the people behind them. SNN's Grant Boxleiter has a preview. Visitors to Ringling Museum's new exhibit will be challenged to consider what is real in the art world and what is fake. Challenges people's perceptions of originality because there are some beautiful artworks here that despite being incredibly visually stimulating, they're inauthentic. Curator Colette Lall digs into the fascinating history of art copycats with intent to deceive fakes and forgeries in the art world. I profile five prolific forgers and in doing so I talk about the psychology behind the con, I talk about their lives, their careers and their illicit careers. The exhibit features a forgery of one of the most famous paintings in the world, Johannes Vermeer's Girl with the Pearl Earring, forged by John Myatt. Ringling assistant exhibition curator Christopher Jones says the exhibit should attract even those not familiar with art crimes. The general public really gets kind of excited thinking about, I mean, there's that really kind of titillating aspect of, you know, intrigue and, and crime, um, but there's also appreciation for the um, technique that goes into kind of pulling off these fakes and forgeries. This is the second stop for the forgeries exhibit on what has already created national buzz. The takeaway that I'm hoping that, that people will come away with is really a better understanding for the prolific problem of forgery because it is a huge cultural heritage crime. Reporting in Sarasota, Grant Boxleitner, SNN Suncoast News Network. Now, in case you're interested in going, the forgeries exhibit is going to be open to the public at Ringling beginning Friday. It'll be on display until August 2nd.